Hi, I'm Bill Fretz. I'd like to introduce you to the Jeweler's Sledgehammer. This is a hammer that's made for forging heavy stock. It has a hatchet handle, a round face with a slight dome, and a cross peen. When you're using the round face, you'll hold it toward the end. When you're doing the cross peen, you'll choke up a little bit and you'll find that it has a lot of control. Now let's get to work. We're going to make this twist forge bracelet from a piece of brass that's four millimeters diameter, it's round, and it's six and a half inches long. And that will make a pretty standard size ladies bracelet. And the first thing to do is we want to bend it in a U. We're going to take an F7 stake and just bend it. And as we bend it, bring the two ends together and then we will start to forge. We're now going to compress the U-shape so it's much tighter. We're going to work it a little bit from each side. Okay, it's time to anneal. Okay, we're going to forge it, but we're going to forge right next to the edge because I want the hammer to hang over the edge a little bit because we're going to let this taper as it's forged. Now the beauty of a heavy hammer is it does all the work. You basically just let it drop. And by hammering on a slight angle, it keeps the shape tight. If you hammer straight down, it will open. Now, you can only go a little bit with brass, and then you have to anneal again. So we'll now anneal. Okay, that's about as far as you can go. If you go too far, it will crack. Brass can be very brittle. So don't feel bad about over annealing. Okay, we're now going to hammer out the forging marks with a planishing hammer. And I'm using an M103 insert stake, and it fits in this T101, which then, that in turn, fits into H101. And this is very useful if you're going to do large pieces. If you're just going to do jewelry, you can use the H1L, and it'll work fine. Now, what makes this useful is I can planish right up to the edge and let the hammer hang over the edge. And that's all it takes. Okay, now it's the fun part. You can just twist it, and you get a great curve, and that'll be the top of the bracelet. Okay, we're gonna form the bracelet part over a stake, the M118, and this is very similar to the curve of a bracelet mandrel, and it works really well for forming this. I'm using the insert hammer, it's a nylon ends, and it's an HMR7. Then we'll do the other end. Now the reason I'm using the nylon hammer is to keep the metal from marking. Bend it. And that's pretty much the shape. The next step is to file the ends so they're slightly rounded and polish it. And the bracelet's finished. I think you'll find this is a very useful hammer for this project and many more to come. Whenever you're using heavy stock, this is probably the hammer that you might want to reach for.